Hi guys, welcome to the Lido Chemistry Lab. Today we will learn how to artificially prepare oxygen in the lab. The first method is the potassium chlorate method. We will first take some potassium chlorate in a test tube and then heat it at a very high temperature. When the temperature reaches about 370 degrees Celsius, the potassium chlorate begins to decompose. At this point, there is a lot of gas released from the test tube. This evolving gas formed is oxygen gas. The product that remains back in the test tube is potassium chloride. We can also use manganese dioxide to make the reaction progress even faster. The manganese dioxide acts as a catalyst in this reaction. Do you know what a catalyst is? Well, a catalyst is a substance that speeds up a reaction without taking part in the chemical reaction. After the reaction, the same amount of the catalyst substance is recovered. The other method used in the lab is the hydrogen peroxide method. In this method, we will require a flat round bottom flask, a thistle funnel, a delivery tube, a two hole cork, a beehive shelf, a cylindrical glass jar, manganese dioxide, hydrogen peroxide and a glass trough. We will set up all these devices in this manner. We will take some manganese dioxide and water in a flat round bottom flask. We will now slowly add hydrogen peroxide drop by drop into the flask through the thistle funnel. As the hydrogen peroxide is being added, you can see that there are bubbles forming in the water. The bubbles are formed due to the evolution of oxygen gas. Please note the manganese dioxide used here only performs the role of a catalyst to speed up the reaction. The oxygen gas passing through the delivery tube is collected in an inverted gas jar. All that remains behind in the flask is water and unreacted manganese dioxide. This is such a cool process. I still need to make some more oxygen. I better get busy. See you next time.